Hi friends, this is Chris from Josephine's Designs. I am back with our weekly faith project. I spent some time on our long, 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 long road trip and um, did some reviewing. We are getting ready to hit that busy holiday season. So I want us to um, keep going, but I will try to keep it shorter for you guys. So um, unless the Lord just knocks on my heart, um, I think we're going to I'm going to work really hard to be respectful of your time and what you've got going on. So let's get started. And I love you guys. And it's so good to be back. And I want to thank you to everyone who has told me, no, no, we never tire of hearing you. Well, how sweet is that? My long winded jabber. But um, life is busy. And I mean, I've been back and I spent the last three days prepping food, cooking food, um, testing food, doing all kinds of things. So um, it's going to get busier for all of us. I'm getting ready to do a whole gluten-free meal for Thanksgiving, which I've never done 100% gluten-free. So it's interesting right now. I'm trying everything. Literally, I have stuff coming tomorrow to make pasta from scratch. Yes, you can buy it, but there is nothing like homemade pasta. So you can see how silly I am right now, how deep I'm in it. But um, yeah, I mean, like I can't just make mac and cheese. I got to put four cheeses in it and I've got to put basil and spinach and garlic and all the good stuff in it. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So anyways, and for those who've prayed for my health, thank you very, very much. I did not get sick on the trip. Um, I was so thankful. I even got to go by Trim Healthy Mama, amazing Christian women there. And um yeah, what a blessing that was. Got to meet some very sweet and kind people and uh, was just totally blessed. Um, the only probably hiccup in the whole thing was Nashville. And that uh, was one restaurant and we were just like, wowzer. <laughs> uh, but um, it was, there was a lot of lessons to learn there. And I think that's great. I think it's great for us to learn from what happened. So anyways, that's a quick summary of the trip. I have some things I'll share with you guys um, in the next um, couple of weeks. Um, I will not get a probably a planning video up this week. Um, I missed it yesterday and I just don't see me getting it done today before um, tomorrow and Thursday we will be in, um, in my husband's office. So and I will be running errands the whole time. So um, I will not be probably in the office, but just eat lunch with them. So, all right, friends, um, let's pray and we'll get started. Now I'm really going to pray this time. <laughs> okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today, Lord. Thank you for the beautiful sun today. Um, thank you for just the damp, cold chill that's been around here. You've, oh, you've just done a beautiful thing and, and just taken it away today. And I just thank you so much. Lord, as we go through this lesson, we give everything to you, the good and the bad. We ask you to teach us in everything that you're wanting us to go through, Lord, each and every one of us, God, please be with each person who hears my voice. I pray that you will bless them for just the desire to seek and know you better, Lord. And Lord, as we go through this, God, help my words be your words and none other. Lord, we give this time to you. We pray that it is totally pleasing to you and that we can learn and grow in our faith in you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Well, one of the ways I'm keeping myself tied um, so I won't be too long is my phone camera is pretty loaded because we were on the trip. So there you go. All right, friends, let's get started. We're on week four, page 52. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Oh, that's so hard. That is such a hard challenge at times. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14. I recently asked someone who just was determined that they were not going to change. They were just going to be the way they were. And I just said, well, as a Christian, when you, you know, and I've waited, I've waited, I've not said anything. <laughs> Finally, I just said, as a Christian, do you think that when you stand before Jesus, you're going to feel good about that statement, that you are not accountable to anybody but you're just going to do what serves you best. You're just going to be yourself without any thought or regards for anyone else's feelings. That is a tough place to be. And that's a place where you can clearly see this person is struggling in their faith. And it's heartbreaking for me because I've heard this many times. And, you know, we are told 
point blank, Paul tells us, do everything in love. John tells us they'll know us by our love. Let's keep going. Faith is not something that you can simply check off a list, but a list like this one from 1 Corinthians 16 can serve as a sort of checkup for your faith. Are you guarding your faith, continuously avoiding the sins that weaken it? Are you standing firm, relying on God's strength and not your own? Is your faith bold or weak and hidden away? Is there love in your actions and words? If your faith isn't all it should be, turn to Jesus, the one who perfects your faith. As you consider this list, is your faith what it should be? I'm going to be honest, my faith isn't what it should be. Um, there are things that I feel very blessed and feel like it's a no-brainer and I totally get it and I totally accept faith at what in those, I have faith in those parts of my life. And then there's parts of my life where I just think, how can I do this the rest of my life? What, how, how do I handle this? And then I think about Esther. She was created for times like those. You and I, my friends, are never given more than what we can handle. We must absolutely examine our own hearts and what the Lord has put in our path. And we must determine to trust him because if we don't determine to trust him, we're going to get swallowed up. It'll get too big for us. It'll, it'll just, it can cause us to either become bitter or better. And those are the things you have to consider. Do I want to do better? Do I want to please God? Do I want to serve him with every part of my heart? And sometimes it has to do with serving those that are not lovable. I just watched a video. Um, it was on like Up or Hallmark or something. I can't remember whichever one. It was a movie while I was getting all this stuff cooking, going back and forth. And I was literally in here chopping my spinach and, and basil what was left from the garden that I picked before this this last cool front came in and um it was about a gentleman who had Alzheimer's and how his family was handling it and I thought a lot about my mom because when they went to see the neurologist I knew all of those things and had been a part of it many times and when my mother looked at me um like is that right I couldn't answer and I remember the neurologist getting mad at me saying, you know, hey, well, oh, oh, you can't answer for her. And I said, I'm not answering for her. She already answered. I'm just reassuring her now because she didn't know. There were things she didn't know. She couldn't tell you what county she lived in at times. She couldn't tell you what town she lived in. She couldn't tell you her own phone number, but she could somehow remember mine. Times like that. I look back at how I handled that. And there were things that I remember looking at my mom saying, you're doing great. You're doing great. Because every time we'd leave that doctor's office, she'd look at me and she'd go, did I do okay? And I said, mom, you're doing perfectly. Don't even think twice. I'm so proud of you. But then when things went wrong, I didn't always handle it well. Faith examines itself. Who am I to judge this person who's saying this to me here recently? These statements but I must look at my own life and I must determine what is it that I need to change in me. So right now my prayer is not change that person. Change me, God. Change me. Change my heart. Help me know how to love. Help me know how to serve. Help me know how to encourage someone who is literally at their, their wit's end. Um, I got a call from that friend today and they were upset about something and you know, just flat out calling someone a, a bold-faced liar. And I was just like, well, let's hope not. Let's hope that it was just a mistake. Let's hope that it was just a mistake. Okay, let's keep going. Faith comes from the Word of God, Romans 10, 17. Strengthen your faith by spreading time in, by spending time in His Word. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31 is a great place to begin. Keep a record of your passages. God uses them to build your faith this week. Um... It is a huge thing to be in the Word when you're in these, sorry guys, I didn't mean to get so close. I'm really having a terrible time. I've gone back and looked at how this camera videos and I am so sorry, um, or where this is holding and I'm literally pulling the lens, you know, back and it's just becoming not very easy to negotiate. So I'm praying through. Do I need to spend more money again? I hope not, but we'll see. I'm going to work really hard on that. Okay, so Romans 10, 
12. Hold on. I think it was 10, 12, 10, 17. Pardon me. So faith comes from hearing what is told. Remember, this is the Amplified Study Bible. So you have some commentary in it. And what is heard comes by the preaching of the message concerning Christ. Guys, we have to hold fast to God's word. We have to hold fast to what is being taught. We have to trust it implicitly. Let's keep going. Okay. And now we're in Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Do you not know, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth does not become tired or grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives strength to the weary and to him who has no might, he increases power in the, and across references, second Corinthians 12, nine, even youths grow weary and tired. Even youths grow weary and tired. I needed that today. <laughs> and vigorous young men stumble badly. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, will gain new strength and renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God like eagles. Rising toward the sun, they will run and not become weary. They will walk and not grow tired. Guys, when I am weak and I am worn to the bone... I just pray. That's all I can do. When people come and say things and ask me questions that maybe I can or cannot answer, maybe there is no answer. They're just angry. Um, maybe there is just confusion. Like with my mom, with had Alzheimer's. Um, whenever you watch somebody go through that, it's very difficult. Um, it's just unbelievably heartbreaking. But I want you to know one thing. That I remember when my mom was passing and she was waving the angels in through the window of her room. I knew at that moment, God was there without a shot of a doubt. He had her in her, he had her in his hands and he was taking care of her. And there is great peace in that. So whatever comes your way, trust God, see what he has for you to do. See where he can teach your heart and pray for the other person who's struggling. And that's your greatest gift. Let's pray. Jesus, we come to you right now and we just love you. We thank you for everything you do in our lives, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Give us your wisdom. Give us your patience. Give us your desire for how we are to be a part of whatever it is that is happening around us. And if we're even supposed to be a part of it, help us to trust you. Help us to have faith that you know exactly what you're doing, that you have created us for times like these. Help us to be strong like Esther. Help us to stand firm. Help us to love when people are not lovable. Lord, thank you so much for all your teaching us. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends, I'm keeping my word. I'm going to shut down. I love you guys. Um, I can't wait to be with you again. I hope this encourages you today. Um, you'll have to excuse my hands are all beat up from cutting and working here on the property. i um, trying to get things in before the cold and then processing food. Um, I haven't cooked this much in a long time, but um, because I knew we would be gone, we were supposed to be gone today, tomorrow and Thursday into the city. It was like that we'll be gone Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, lots of road time. We're very road weary. That's why we didn't go in today. But um, it was a great opportunity, me, opp opportunity for me to continue to to cook. And um, and our daughter's college had a bomb threat today. And we're trying just to get her to come home. So, you know, oh, no, we're fine. It's all clear. It's fine. <laughs> My husband's like, get her home. So I may have to drive over and get her. But anyways, it's all good. All right, guys. I love you guys. Be safe. Have a great day. Keep serving them well. Jesus loves you so very much. I love you, my friends. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.